let's talk about how to recreate these three charts. So the first thing I'm gonna do to get us more real estate is quickly hide these three lines right here, these three rows, I should say, two, three. Okay, the first one is market share. So we'll slide this over to the right and we will recreate this from scratch. So we click here and we see this is the data we need. Okay, so we'll click here on this data here, okay? Uh, and then we'll go to insert and then we'll go here to chart and we'll insert it like that. Okay, now we gotta change a couple things around. Um, so in terms of getting the legend to be at the top, you just go to add chart elements and it won't add two legends, don't worry, but it'll just move the legend for us. So you go here to add chart elements and we'll put the legend here at the top, okay? And then here you just double click this and you call it market share, okay? Like that, good. Okay, we need labels. So we go here to add chart elements, data labels, and we'll have data call out. Okay, great. Uh, let me make this bigger so it kind of matches it there. Okay, good. Um, and then what you can do is uh, you just click here if you want to change the font size. So you go here and just make it bigger. Okay, and do the same with, with the rest of them. Uh, and then in terms of the back color here, what do you do when you're not sure what to do? You right click. So we'll right click it, format chart area here. Okay. Uh, and then you select no fill. Actually, we got to have a color. So you select solid fill and you just select the color uh, down here. Okay. Uh, and so it's just this top one right here. Okay, great. All right, let's move on now to sector exposure. Let's move this over to the right here and I'll right click it and I'll bring it to the front like that. Good. Okay. So this one here, if we click here, we can see what the, which, where the data is selected from. It's kind of buggy. I don't know why it does that. Okay. So it's just this data here. So I'm going to highlight this data here and I'm going to go to insert and I'll select this guy here. Okay, good. Uh, and then I'm going to drag it, make it a bit bigger here. Okay. Let's get rid of the legend. Okay. Um, and then here I can uh, just rename this if I want to. I'm not going to do it. It's pretty easy. Um, and then over here, again, we right click format chart area, uh, and then we could select uh, the color that we want to use. Uh, and the color I'll use is the exact same one that I used before with me buying time while well, this is taking 8 million years to open up here. Uh, but I just select the appropriate color there. Here it is here. Okay, right here. Okay, good. All right. Now for the labels, uh, what we do is we right click and we format the data labels uh, and we add the value right here. Okay. Um, and then we can make it a little bit bigger. And then you just change the font here like that. Uh, and that looks close enough. I think I have pastel colors here. I think the way to do that is you go to chart design and then I can just select this one here, something like that. And then just delete these here. Okay, cool. All right, let's move down now to the hardest one. Okay. And you don't have to watch this because it's kind of a repeat of what I did in the previous, uh, a couple lectures ago. But I'm going to right click here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this to the front, okay? Uh, and then uh, I'm going to recreate this uh, from scratch. So I'm going to select here, and I'm going to go to Insert, Recommended Chart, okay? And I'll just add it right here. Or what I could do is the painful process of adding the series separately, uh, which is what I did uh, a couple of videos ago. You can go back and watch that uh, if you want to. But let me pretty this up to make it look the same. All right, so right here, the series, um, let me see, series, I guess I'll put these in the top here, chart elements, and you can add the legend to the top there. You can just right click uh, and, and change the color in the background if, if you want to as well, uh, right here. Uh, and then you can just uh, increase the size uh, of the font, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and then here, just to change the color, you can right click, uh, and then you can go format data series. Uh, and then over here, uh, you just select the color that you want in the color bucket. Uh, and the same thing with, with these bars here uh, as well. Okay, have fun with this. Again, experiment a lot. If you break it, don't worry, just download it again. Uh, the best way to learn this stuff, and I'm always constantly learning, even when I'm teaching, because when one teaches, two learn. Two learn. Uh, but keep, keep, keep experimenting with it, and eventually you'll get it. And there's always 8 million different ways to do things in Excel. Thank you.